Hey there, if you liked the video, please click that like button. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Hey everybody, so I've got my 2007 Dodge Dakota here. This is the 4.9 liter V8. And today I'm going to do the rear diff fluid. I'm going to drain and refill it. So let's get started. I got three bottles of the Lucas SA75W140 weight gear oil synthetic. The diff takes two and a quarter quarts. So I got three bottles. And then I got a new gasket as well. I'll, I'll link all this in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, so I got my drain pan underneath there. And I'm going to break all the bolts loose here. Okay, I'm going to take a putty knife, try to crack the bottom open here a little bit. Pro tip, the wind will always blow as soon as you try to drain oil. All right, so that's the cover off there. I'm gonna let that drip for a little bit and clean up the pan gasket surface. I'm gonna get all this old RTV off and then we'll put the pan back on with the new gasket and refill it. All right, so I'm gonna try to get as much of this off as I can, just peeling it off and using a plastic scraper very carefully so as to not damage the surface. So I'm gonna get all that off and then clean off the ring on the differential itself and be ready to put it back on all right so that took a minute to get clean and for all of you following along at home you probably don't like me very much anymore and I apologize but now that that's clean and that surface in there is clean as well we can go ahead and put the cover back on to uh, clean this RTV off you can also use brake cleaner and a rag too to get the rest of it off to after you get the bulk of it off with the with the scraper, then you can use brake cleaner and a rag that dissolves it pretty easily. All right, so I got the gasket on here. I found on mine at least, I had to try it a couple different ways to get the best fit on it. So you might have to do that as well. Sounds like it's sealing already. So. So, pro tip from a not pro person, um, you know when you rip your gloves and you get a hole in the finger and you have another glove that just has a hole in one finger, you can rip fingers off of that glove and put those fingers on your other glove. I thought that was relatively smartish, but I don't know. We'll see how it works. As you can see, I went ahead and pulled my plug too while it was off gonna put these down to where they're basically just touching and then tighten them in kind of a crisscross pattern so that it pulls down the gasket nice and level and we don't bend the flange or anything like that because we don't want to be doing that no flange bending today okay the torque spec for these is 30 foot pounds I have a little torque wrench so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Alrighty then, so if that all seals good, we should be good to go. I'm gonna go get my fluid and start adding it in there. Okie dokie, now we add the oil and hope for no leaks. That's what we do. So the uh, manual on this truck says to fill the level up to a quarter inch below the fill plug. That's the sound of an empty bottle. But this was kind of expensive, so I'm gonna make sure I get it all. No, don't leak, don't leak, don't leak. No, that wasn't underwear that you just saw. That was um, something else other than underwear. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not what you saw at all. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> there's, there's some sound effects for y'all, just in case you needed those in your life. Glad, glad you could join us on this journey. Wow, 
Well, that's looking pretty good with just two quarts. I'd say I'm probably a little bit lower than a quarter inch below that fill line. Okay, so here's the last half pint. Make sure the cap's nice and clean. All right, I think that does it for this one. Hope this helped somebody. If you liked it, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. You can check out some of my other videos right here. And if you want to, you can subscribe by clicking here.